Hi and welcome to Data Garden. Thanks for checking out my video. I hope you're doing very well. In today's video, we want to talk about the Plotly library for RStudio. And Plotly is a very amazing, very exciting library. What it allows you to do is take a plot like this, which is standard ggplot line plot, and sort of bring it to life a little bit. Because what you can do with just sim uh, very simple code is to take your plot and allow it to do this, where if you hover over the plot, it shows you additional information about the plot. So I can hover over the green line, for example, and I see the value for the um, variable PSR word. And if I hover over the pink line, I see the same value for the variable unemployed. So if you find this exciting, if you also want to bring your plots to life a little bit, then go ahead and follow me into this tutorial. I'm going to close this window here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new file, a new R script. And we are first of all going to load both of the libraries which we need. And those are ggplot2 and plotly. So that will be library ggplot2, press uh, run, I'm going to press command and enter here, and we're going to do the same with library plotly, again, I'm going to press command and enter. Of course, uh, if you're new to the plotly plugin, you might want to, uh, you might need to still install the, uh, the library by using command install dot packages and then quote unquote plotly and if you get an error in the installation then I recommend adding comma type equals and then in quotes binary like this you should always be able to install it I already have the library installed so I don't need to run this command so I think I'm going to comment it out with that done, we can load our data set and we're actually going to use the data set from the ggplot2 library today. And that will be data and then in brackets, economics underscore long. I'm going to press command and enter again to run the line. And we are going to quickly have a look at the data set with the view command. Uh, economics long like this press and uh, command and enter and we see that we have the date in column one it's also formatted as the date already we have the variable in um, column two and there are a bunch of different variables um, to be precise pce which is a personal consumption expenditures Population, which is uh, uh, POP, which is a population, PS average, uh, which is a personal savings rate, the median duration of unemployment in weeks, and the number of unemployed people. All of these data come from the St. Louis Fed database, which I highly recommend you to have a look at in case you are interested about economic data. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new ggplot with command ggplot and then in brackets we're going to define the data as economics long and comma and I'm going to do a new line and the mapping will be AES and then in brackets x equals date with small uh, in small letters y equals and we're going to use oh, I forgot to explain here is the actual value and value 0 1 I think is a normalized value so that uh, you can actually plot all the values in uh, relative terms uh, in the same plot so we're going to use value 0 1 and color will be variable. 
and then we're going to type a plus, uh, plus after the second closing bracket and we're going to do a geometry line opening bracket closing bracket and to make things a bit nice we're going to add uh, labels so we're going to type another plus and a new line and we're using the command labs and x will be date and y will be variable and um, say title will be economic data for the US. Okay, let's press run and see how it looks. And we see that it's already pretty good. We have a uh, date on our x-axis, the values from 0 to 1 uh, on our y-axis, and we have all the variables in uh, different colors. But if we hover over the chart, we see that it's just a picture. There's nothing really to do here. What we can do now is we can, can, we can use the command ggplotly, opening bracket, closing bracket, and uh, put this plot that we have created from line 9 to 16 as our only input. It is recommended for this though that we assign a name to the plot such as plot1 and we assign that uh, name to the plot that we have just created. So we press run again. It doesn't do anything of course except create a, a file in our environment and then we are going to type ggplotly opening bracket plot1 uh, plot closing bracket press run again and now we see that our plot gets uh, opened in the viewer instead of in the plots tab and we can see that we can hover it and get some additional information for our plot right here in the viewer and it gives uh, uh, the user of the plot really all the information that you want where you can really precisely see for example here what was the peak of the data and uh, what was the bottom and it really adds quite a lot of utility to, I think, almost any plot that you can imagine. If you want to export this plot, then you can export it as an HTML page because Plotly is an HTML widget library uh, that is a family of widgets uh, or family of packages that you can use to create HTML content in R. And you can simply um, press export and save as web page and then um, can give it name let's say my plot and press save and uh, then you will see that it will be uh, right there in your folder and you can open it in your uh, HTML web browser. You can also use this plotly, ggplotly function for pretty much every uh, plot in R, such as bar charts or jitter plots. And you can also modify it a little bit by, for example, adding additional information to this um, hover information if you so desire. These are things that we're going to do in some upcoming videos. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you did, then please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content of this type, then subscribe to the channel because I have more content coming up very soon. And finally, if you have any questions or suggestions, then uh, please leave them down below in the comments and I will be glad to answer them. Thanks for watching. Have a great time and bye bye.